Thank you, Governor Timami. Governor Abdul Samad. Governor Wajimbo La Mombasa. Assalamu uh, alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Your Excellency, I don't have a sore throat, I don't have a cold, so I'll be a bit longer than, uh, than uh, and I know my late father taught me one thing, don't speak to people when they're eating, when they're hungry or when they're full. So now is not the right time for us to be able to speak much, especially because of the fact that I know a majority of people here want to be able to go for their prayers. But if we don't say it, it will be a betrayal to the people who elected us in various positions. I want to echo the sentiments that have been um, spoken very, very elaborately. And we want to give you the assurance on my own behalf, on behalf of the people of Mombasa. Your Excellency, I had the privilege of serving as a member of parliament two terms prior. And there are four issues I want to just mention on. One of them I want to tell the current members of parliament. They are lucky because during my time, and leader Duale here will be able to affirm and confirm this, probably every week I had to go and ask for a statement. I had to be able to continuously bulge the administration using parliament on matters of extrajudicial killing. So one, that at least now, the current members of parliament, that is not there on them. Two, Your Excellency, in the last parliament, I remember with, again, the former leader, we passed the work bill. It had a lot of work that needed to be done. We did the mobilization of what needed to be done, political goodwill that was able to be expressed. And now it is on your table. We are requesting that this particular work bill, if you can be able to choose these commissioners, it will be a win for every single person so that those forefathers who gave theirs for purposes of charity can be able to be at a better place that it is actually being used for purposes of charity. Your Excellency, the third issue, which is very vital, please, on the same energy, that we are seeing alcohol being tackled in various parts. Where I come from, people are not addicted majority to alcohol, but those who are addicted are addicted to matters of drugs. And if we don't speak it, then we will not be true to our people. And we are asking. Two days ago, I had a meeting with the county security team and we gave them our affirmation and I'm giving the affirmation right now to the head of state and the general of the republic your excellency whatever it is that needs to be done get it done we need to be able to get rid of the issue and the menace of drugs in our country and the county in general your excellency if I just um, I'm able to be able to finalize this one of the other issues that we raised in Parliament, and the Education Act is very clear, it's not been amended from the time when we were members of Parliament. It is very, very clear on the issues of freedom of worship. Any person can be able, and I remember when we were doing these laws, it included the Wakorinos, who also wanted to have a headgear. It included the seven death uh, uh, Adventists, who also wanted to be given time to be able to pray on Saturdays. Your Excellency, it is high time that the administration puts its foot down and the only way that can be able to show that there's some seriousness, fire some teachers. Those who decide to be, to be going against the Constitution, ask your Minister, your, your Excellency, to tell them, step aside, they can be able to do some other work in the offices. And lastly, Your Excellency, Mine is to say a big thank you, a uh, number of people who have not been able to see in a while, and that's the spirit of Ramadan. Um, I want to thank you for this particular invite. I want to break one rumor, Your Excellency, 
uh, this is very important. Na nipeni nafasi ni yonge hii kiswahili. Um, kuna wengine kule nje walisema ya kuwa ukifika state house, ati dini nyingine na baguliwa. Mimi ni shahidi hapa leo. Mimi na umma wote uloko hapa, tuliomba hapa hapa katika state house. Kwa hivyo mimi niko hapa kutoa ushahidi ya kuwa hayo ni maneno ya porojo ambao kwamba hayana maana. Tumeswali hapa hapa. Kwa hayo mengi yo excellency, naraa kushukuru tena. Thank you once again for the invite and uh, we are greatly honored. Thank you. Yo excellency, nilojua governor bado ni chama ya propaganda na porojo. Hapa sisi wengine tunajua hata wakati wa rais Kibaki ukiwa hapa ukiwa mkutanoni ukiwa hafla kama hii kuna mahali pa where you can conduct your prayers and now the the work is not a bill you access uh, we did well it's an act of parliament all that uh, the AG needs to do is uh, the implementation